Hi, my name is Daniel Wilding. We're here at National Instruments NI Week at the Vision Pavilion of the show floor. Uh, I'm here to show off a demo that compares image processing on a CPU and on an FPGA. So if you look over here at the frame rate indicator, the CPU is able to keep up to about 11 frames per second. Uh, the FPGA, though, is able to keep up to 117, so almost 10x improvement over the CPU version. So for image processing, in some applications, CPUs can be a wonderful advantage for throughput and latency and jitter. So the, the demo here is taking a picture of match heads and counting the match heads and finding their area, making sure that they've all been produced correctly, that there are no match heads that are missing the, the reactive sulfur coating. Um, instead of actually having matches here, I've got two Flexrio adapter modules custom made that are generating the camera image data. It saves me from actually having the matches and special lighting here. Um, but the image data is being replayed uh, twice, once to a 1435 frame grabber that does traditional image acquisition and sends the data to host memory for processing. Um, the other card, the NI1483, is doing image capture and processing on the FPGA and only sending back the results. So you can see by looking at the green boxes here, the CPU version is doing, and the FPGA version are finding the same match heads and the computation is the same. But the FPGA, because of massive parallelism and a little bit of really good LabVIEW programming, is able to do processing much faster. Uh, thanks for watching.